Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus the Tribble. In recent years, uh, Windows 10 has come out. Uh, it's been out for actually quite a few years now. Microsoft has decided that they're going to update Windows 10 more frequently. Generally speaking, this is a good thing because you may recall the days of Windows XP when it was like 27 years between service packs. Uh, the new way of doing things is Microsoft releases several large updates every year and unfortunately, many of these updates just completely bork your computer. Uh, your, your graphics card stops working, the screen stays blank, uh, sometimes it installs updates and you reboot, and your keyboard and mouse stop working. You can't actually type in your password to log into Windows. Uh, there are a variety of problems, but what do you do when you encounter this kind of problem? Uh, especially if you can't even log into Windows, what are you supposed to do? Well, what you do is you use the Windows recovery environment and you restore your computer to an earlier point in time. This will allow you to prevent Windows from updating anything for uh, a period of about a month and you can get on with your life. So how do you do this? Well, uh, first of all, it depends on can you actually log into Windows or not. If you can log into Windows, this is what you do. You're going to click the Start button and type Startup. You'll see it gives you several options. The one you want is Change Advanced Startup Options. That's going to take you to this settings screen. And you can try to reset this PC, but that's not really what you want. You don't want to reinstall Windows 10. Um, sometimes you can also do go back to the previous version of Windows 10, but as you can see, that's no longer available uh, if it's been more than 10 days. This is kind of not very useful. The most useful one is under here uh, where it says Advanced Startup. And you can ignore everything else. What you're really looking for is Restore Windows from a System Image. This will restart your PC. So all you're going to do is click on the Restart Now button. After you restart doing that, you'll be in the Windows Recovery environment. And I'll show you what to do in just a second. But first, what happens if you can't even log into Windows? You can literally do nothing with your computer. This gets a little more complicated because what you need to do, of course, is to run the Windows recovery environment. The problem is, in the olden days, you just press the F8 key when your computer was booting and boom, you'd have the recovery environment. With newer versions of Windows, Microsoft has decided to make things a lot more complicated. Uh, one kind of reliable trick is to turn your computer on and when you see the Windows loading, the Windows logo, the Windows loading screen, turn the computer off. Repeat that process three times and Windows should go, oops, something was wrong, and take you into the recovery environment. But the most reliable way is to figure out which actual function key you're supposed to tap when you first turn your computer on uh, in order to get into the recovery environment. That depends on the make and model. So how do you figure that out? Well, what you do is you use your favorite search engine and you type Windows Recovery Environment, Environment, and say, like, you have an Asus Republic of Gamers laptop, so you search for Asus ROG. And you're going to get some results here, and you can skim over the results and say, okay, Recovery Environment, how to create recovery, uh, how to use Asus Recovery Key, uh, ah, it looks like F9, the moment the logo screen shows up, okay, that'll take you into the recovery environment. In my case, I have uh, an MSI Raider. Ah, wait, what does this say? Uh, Windows Automatic Repair. When power on the device, please press F3 hotkey to enter the Windows recovery environment. Boom, that's what I want, F3. So what you can do, um, it's kind of frustrating because it used to be F8 was the standard. Now sometimes it's F8, sometimes it's the F3 key, sometimes it's F11, sometimes it's F12. Uh, it varies. So all you do is search for Windows recovery environment and the manufacturer and name of the model of your desktop or laptop computer. And usually one of the first results here is going to be which function key you need to press while you are powering on your computer to get into the Windows recovery environment so that you can run System Restore. Isn't this fun? Whew. Okay, so now you know what F key to press. So what do you do? Well, what we're going to do is, it, in my case, of course, it's F3. So I'm just going to turn my computer on and I'm going to tap the F3 key repeatedly. You can see the little dragon logo there. This is an MSI laptop. And now it says, please wait. 
when it says please wait, I can stop tapping the F key and do, 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 do. here we go. Okay. So this is the screen you're going to see. It says choose an option and the option you want is troubleshoot. So you click that. On the next screen, you're going to want to go down and click on advanced options. You can try startup repair if you want, uh, if there is a problem. Usually Windows 10 will actually just launch startup repair automatically for you. So if you have a Windows update, uh, most likely, as I said, what you're going to do is come down here and click on system restore. Now, as you can see, you're going to have to log in in order to do this. So I just click on my account name. And then of course I have to type in my password. This is going to bring up the restore system files and settings window. So you just click next. And as you can see, I only have two restore points. What you're going to want to do, I just made these, these restore points just recently, just to show you this as an example. But what you're actually going to see is a couple different uh, points, maybe four or five of them. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select the oldest point that is before Windows installed updates. And once you've done that, you just click the next button. Then it's going to ask you to confirm your, your restore point. So you just click finish and then you have to wait. Okay, so that's finally gotten you into the Windows recovery environment. You've restored your computer to a previous time without the Windows updates. Now it should boot, you should be able to log in just fine and everything should work. But how do you ensure that Windows doesn't just reinstall those updates and screw everything up again? To prevent Windows from pulling any more of its shenanigans, we're going to come down here and click start and click the gear to open settings. And then we're going to go to update and security. Now what you could do is just click this, this uh, option here, pause updates for seven days. But if you want to, to delay even longer, you click on advanced options and you'll see down here, it says pause updates, temporarily pause updates from being installed on this device for up to 35 days. So you can say pause until, and then pick way the heck in the future. And that's it. Now, when you click the back arrow and go back to Windows updates, uh, it's going to say updates paused. Your device won't be up to date while updates are paused. Updates will resume on the 13th of March. Oi, that was complicated. In any case, there you go. That's what you do. Uh, you find a way into the Windows recovery environment. It requires a little bit of investigating. Then you turn off updates. You can pause them for up to 35 days. And during that time, hopefully Microsoft will fix all the problems with the Windows 10 update that screwed your computer up. And when you resume updates again, uh, it will update and this time you won't have a problem. If you do have a problem again, then you can complain to Microsoft and simply repeat the process. Uh, but usually at this point in time, um, yes, waiting 30 days is enough. And because if you have that problem, chances are many other people will. And now you know how to fix it. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.